Hey guys, this is Satoshi and I'm here to bring you step-by-step -step guide to leveling up in Digimon Digital Monsters for beginner. I did one for like a general aspect a while ago, but now the game updated like 20 times now. So this is just for beginners, maybe like under 10,000, more specifically for like 5,000 and below. But I'm pretty sure it can work up to 10,000. I get this comment every time. I see people just saying they're finna quit because it's so hard leveling and doing this and that. So I'm just gonna give you the run through of what I would do if I had to level again. What I would do is when you're first starting off, I would just level regularly and go to these Digimon bounty quests. When you're at these Digimon bounty quests, they'll give you a quest to defeat a certain amount of Digimon that's in that area and you can claim it once you complete it and then get extra loot and more levels. Sometimes if you're low enough, you can get like 500 levels or 300 levels or 100 levels from just completing one quest. So doing that is super beneficial. So if you're in at any area, just do the quest because it's just extra loot. So once you do that, you get strong enough to be able to come to the 641 place. You're gonna wanna farm up data to become Tyrant Kabuterimon. And you wanna get to the point where you're one-shotting these Chaos Piedmons and getting loot. Why I say Tyrant Kabuterimon, which I am right now, is because he has a decent AOE move for a level 641 and being that you can one shot these 641 Digimons, you can get a lot of his data by doing this because they drop his data. So once you have him doing a decent amount, you don't have to max him out, but enough to the point where you're doing, you know, a lot of damage. Now it will finally be time to get to the next area only do the next area if you're ready for the next area just because you're 1281 does not mean you farm infinite mountain i repeat just because you're 1281 does not mean you farm infinite mountain that just means you can go there so just make sure you have enough data at least 20,000 data of Ka tyrant kabuterimon before you go to 1281 place so at least he's at his max stats before you get into upgrading him in this table right here. You got enough Tyrant Carpentary Mon, now you're gonna go to Infinite Mountain. Once you're at Infinite Mountain, you're gonna keep grinding there with Tyrant Carpentary Mon as long as you can handle it. If you can't handle it, you you need to level up Tyrant Carpentary Mon more. At the 1281 place, you can choose between two Digimons that I would recommend. One is Examon. The second would probably be Omnimon. And why I suggest being Omnimon or Examon is because they do decent amount of damage and they have a well Omnimon sorta has an AoE and also Examon has a AoE as well. Me personally, when I leveled up both of my accounts on here, I use Examon just because his AoE is just super big. Make sure you're doing a bounty quest in Infinite Mountain and grinding up enough Examon data or Omnimon data, whichever you're going for, and maxing out those characters. Eventually get to the point to one-shotting them. You can grind this area to like 10,000. Well, I wouldn't say 10,000, maybe like 7,000, because I just leveled my alt account to like from 3,000 to 7,000 just in this area of Infinite Mountain. Like you don't need to go to the 5,000 place or 10,000 place till a certain point. So once you're strong enough, you can then go to Infinite Dungeon. But while you're in Infinite Dungeon, I would just go and get the Ordinimon quest, defeat Ordinimon. You'll have to get someone to help you or defeat Ordinimon, like a 20,000, level 20,000 or something. So then while you're farming, in infinite dungeon with omnimon or Examon, you can farm or dinimon since you're in infinite dungeon and that's where or data drops now from there you're just leveling with or and you should at least be you know 10,000 by then or 8,000 by then farming with Examon or omnimon and if you're not strong enough to farm an infinite dungeon you may meet, need to max out omnimon more or Examon more or you'll have to go check out my recent video on you know maxing out all my baby digimons and seeing how much that grows because that does also buff your damage so do that upgrade other digimon at as well because the more data you get of each digimon the stronger you're getting so each time that you're defeating one of these digimons and they give you data you're gonna keep just getting stronger so you can keep doing that far more Ordinimon you can get Ordinimon to like 20,000 data then you're just farming with Ordinimon you may need to 
still keep farming with Examon until you can level up them up enough. That's basically how you're gonna farm. So first, Tyrant Kabuterimon, 641 place. Then Omnimon or Examon in Infinite Mountain. And then Ordinimon in Infinite Dungeon. If you can get that all down, you're good. Just max out Ordinimon and then it can survive you up to 5,000 and 10,000 place. You may get defeated a lot, but then once you're at the 5,000 place and 10,000 place, then you can use X on X or Z or you know any of the 5Ks and that will help you out even more. So if you guys like this video and want to see more delicious digital content, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned till the next one. Peace out.